I'm John J. Robinson. I play DW Custom Shop Drums. You, you know, I, I came to DW uh, because of uh, sound and change, and uh, I knew that it would up my game. However, you know, in the 80s, I had considered coming over to DW, and um, I think the timing of that particular move was not right. Uh, this time, I've been there, what, about uh, maybe a little, about six months now, and, um, you know, there's a lot of reasons, but the bottom line is that <clears throat> it's the drums themselves uh, make my playing better. They make me sound better. Uh, it's more effortless for me to play. Um, it's interesting, I can take any variety of the sets that I'm now playing from DW and put any kind of head on it. And they all respond to how I, I play, which is something to be said. You know, sometimes drums uh, are basically locked in with their certain kind of head that, that the drums are, are, are tuned for. And uh, I've been able to take, like I, a couple of weeks ago, I did a Nike, one of those Kobe Bryant, LeBron James commercials with the puppets. And uh, we decided to make the drums a little more organic sounding than more rock and roll. And so I just, I just put uh, ambassador coateds on the drums, brought them into Capitol, and uh, did a quick tune. Bam, the engineer had a big smile on his face, and, uh, and uh, you know, the rest is history on that. So uh, I came to DW be for myself to make myself a better, better drummer. Uh, my first feeling when I walked into the DW Custom Drum Shop was, you know, first of all, awe. I was in awe, and um, I felt like I was home. You know, uh, my feeling was that I, wow, I'm actually home, and uh, it's a big home. Um, I, I, I saw everybody taking pride in, in, in hardware and and uh, and shell assembly and 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 paint finishes. It was just unsurpassed. Smelling wood plies is an awesome experience and um, one that maybe doesn't consider smelling your drums you know I've always been addicted to the way drums smell you know there's just something about that John Good is like you know uh, you know God broke that mold right away um, and you know like I've said before um, he and I have a lot in common you know he's a wood king of wood I, I'm addicted to wood I, I just something about the natural the, the feel of wood, the sound of wood. Uh, so when he took me through uh, that, that first tour, uh, it was, you know, remember when you were 10 at Christmas, man, and you got that, you know, you got that road race set or, you know, that, that, one, that one toy. It was, it was very much like Christmas Day for me. I was overwhelmed with so much information, and, and I went home to my wife and I said, you know, I have a lot of stuff to process here. Uh, you know, his... His concept of, of, of shell design and 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 you know the way the way the uh, the, the grains alter sound and, and, and frequencies, you know I I can tell you that the my former life with other companies we were never paying attention to that that severe and and uh, there's something that uh, I think makes us drummers more musical when we know exactly what we're playing. Right when I got the first Maple set with VLX, um, you know, it was, first of all, the transition into DW was painless and effortless. Uh, but it was interesting with my previous company uh, and being out on the road with David Foster and even with Barbara Streisand, they always had me in plexiglass. And I always felt I was not part of the band. You know, you're, you're kind of a, you know, I'm in the Pope cage. I'm, I'm, uh, I was waiting for somebody to take a shot at me, you know. But with David Foster, once I got the DW drums, all the plexiglass went away. And so what that does is, the, the, the attributes to that are <clears throat> the instrument as a whole uh, complements whatever uh, venue I'm in. If I'm in, in Staples or if I'm in some uh, theater in Atlanta, you know, the Fox Theater, where it's very old, you know, from the 20s, the drums uh, adjoin to their surroundings and, uh, you know, just they sound the best. You know, on the, on the David Foster tour, um, the engineer immediately said, God, you know, the, your, your drums sound great. 
you know, something different or something? I said, well, yeah, that something is different. He goes, man, it's just, I, I have absolutely no issues with you whatsoever. And I go, I love you. Let's, you know, let's have a beer and uh, that sort of thing. Um, when I brought them into the studio, you know, and I, <clears throat> sometimes I would tell an engineer, I go, yeah, I got a brand new set, brand new DW set. Uh, you know, let me know what your first feedback is. But then that's kind of, pro you know, prodding him to say something positive, no matter what it is. So I have mostly, I don't say anything. And I let the engineer come up and says, God, man, your drum sound is ridiculous. Like I just did a record for this singer named Pew Bachman in, in Sweden, famous old rock singer, this woman. And Lee Scalar played bass and um, this uh, metal guitar player, Mickey Wenborn played guitar. And Steve Sykes, great engineer. Uh, he, and he happens to be my personal engineer. He, he looked at me and he says, I have never in my life gotten a tom sound that great. And I was like, you know, I've been working with him since 81. And uh, um, that was never said before. So, you know, it's quite extraordinary. First of all, listen to the cats at DW. You know, I mean, they, they know Garrison and, and yourself and, and of course, you know, John and Don. Um, <clears throat> you know, John had me initially uh, you know, playing the 23. And, you know, everybody goes, wow, 23, this is wild, you know. And I loved it right out of the gates. It sounded un unbelievable. Uh, me being a seasoned drummer in my middle years, um, I'm used to a 24. So he did not hesitate one iota to basically clone the same of the lot of the wood and make me a 24. And uh, that happened to work better for me in this particular situation. So I would tell them is, you know, research the drum company. Uh, they make so many varieties of drums. I have, I have a new bebop drum with the maple gum maple like Peter Erskine, and uh, it's just blowing me away. It's absolutely stunning. And uh, I, uh, you know, because I, I always was a bebop drummer back at Berkeley, even though I was a big band rock drummer coming from Iowa. I uh, did a lot of lot of trio and, and quartet and septet playing in, in, in Boston. And there's a part of me that still has that old, you know, that old kind of Gretsch desire, but these drums are so much more, they're, they're more, I guess I could say louder, or more boisterous, but in a romantic way. They, they, have a, they have characteristics that you can still play pianissimo and get a pure pianissimo out of it, or you can play fortissimo and they'd be a lot louder than a Gretsch drum. A lot of versatility. So, I mean, there was a, a part of me that you could take a 24-inch kick drum of that maple, gum maple, and it'd be a great sounding rock drum set. You know, the VLX, the thing I'm playing now, uh, is, you know, unsurpassed. So, uh, figure out what works best for your body, your frame style. Uh, don't go crazy. Get what you know that you're going to uh, uh, excel on. Every drummer can find what he's looking for or she's looking for at DW Custom Shop. I'm John J.R. Robinson. Go check out DW Custom Shop Drums.